Hello everyone, Sean back again coming to you from uh, Stormy Utila this morning. Uh, so uh, it's uh, a little loud in the background, the waves are kind of uh, hitting the, the rock wall pretty hard. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the little lapping wave noise background, background noise. So uh, last week I kind of laid out what I will be doing with these weekly video posts. Uh, I talked about how uh, this is going to be kind of a, a video blog, a, a way for me to maybe interview people that I've taught or I'm working with. Uh, I will also maybe be doing some reviews of products, um, might even do some tutorials uh, as well. So uh, it, on a weekly basis I'll be kind of changing it up a little bit here and there. Uh, last week I, uh, I also made a pretty big announcement about me leaving Utila. I um, have been here for, uh, came here nine years ago, did my dive master, and uh, have left here and there, but pretty much been on the island uh, semi-permanently the, the majority of that time. Uh, this is where I learned to become an underwater photographer, uh, where I learned to become a scuba diving professional as well. And uh, last week I also talked about how I will be beginning the process of becoming a staff instructor. And so I thought this week maybe I could go a little bit more in depth about the idea of me becoming a staff instructor and me being a, a scuba uh, instructor in general uh, and how that kind of fits with me being an underwater photographer. The majority of these videos and the majority of my topics are going to be about photography or underwater photography specifically, but uh, the idea of how I got to this this place to be a, considered an underwater photographer is not necessarily all about photography. Uh, so without going into too much, uh, you know, uh, bio on, you know, how I became um, a uh, professional photographer, uh, the, the ideas that I haven't really actually been a photographer since I graduated college um, is something that I do share with a lot of people, but I don't know if a lot of people do know that. Um, maybe I give the perception that I uh, have always been a professional photographer, but that's not the case. Uh, when I graduated, uh, I think most people can uh, understand, uh, especially in the, the end of the Great Recession, um, there wasn't a lot of work opportunities, so you pretty much had to, to take whatever you could get. Um, so I worked in retail for a while. Um, I've also worked in housekeeping. Uh, I've been a delivery driver, um, so I've done a lot of different jobs. Uh, mainly, though, what I've done is worked jobs that put me in a place that I could take pictures um, or would you know pay a lot of money so that I could save to go travel um, and then take pictures uh, so you know my work was still around the idea that I wanted to take pictures and do this professionally um, I just had to make a sacrifice and not actually being a professional photographer quite for quite some time um, so I travel like I said last week I traveled for uh, a year um, and a part of that trip I came here to Utila uh, to become a dive master um, to kind of try and find another way of making money, um, earning income, um, doing something that I love that will also put me in, um, you know, and give me access to the ability to take pictures, to pictures underwater. Um, so I became a dive master, uh, but quickly realized that uh, I think anybody who's a dive master will know that you're not going to be able to make uh, a, a living as a dive master, um, the, the best option is to become a scuba instructor, actually. So it was a pretty quick realization that I wanted to become a scuba diving instructor. I uh, decided to come back to Utila a couple months later. Um, so I got my dive master in, in March of 2012 and uh, came back in September of that year to get my instructor. And then immediately started working as a scuba diving instructor after that. Uh, then I was actually making money um, when I wasn't teaching um, or dive, being a dive master. I was um, taking pictures, going out in the boat, using my free time to learn how to take pictures underwater. Um, and this is where I really, really got lucky, honestly, I think, um, because most people don't get uh, that much time to take pictures underwater. They, they get maybe a, a couple days out of the year. Uh, to do that, whereas I had, you know, a couple days out of the week sometimes to get to do that. So it didn't take me very long to amass a lot of photos and to build up my skills as an underwater photographer. But uh, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is talking about me being a scuba instructor and how actually super useful that has been in my life, not only from income, but also for the ability to 
uh, learn how to teach, honestly. I, I don't think when I graduated college that I would have ever expected to become a, a teacher. Um, I don't know, sort of like necessarily call myself a teacher, more of an instructor, obviously, but um, same thing, I think, really. But uh, I don't think I would have ever imagined it, but doing that gave me the idea to be able to teach photography and how I can actually use that as a mode to be able to become uh, a professional photographer in the realm of education, actually. And I think that's where I've um, really made my, my career as a photographer, not necessarily I'm not getting my work published, um, you know, I'm not um, getting assignments. Um, I've really made a name for myself through social media and through being a scuba instructor here on Utila. Um, so that is kind of the how I got here, um, but what I'm going to talk about in this video is the next step that I'm taking, um, which is doing my staff instructor. So again, without like last week, I was talking about how the, the different levels work. Um, I'm going to cut to a, a video or a little uh, grid graph that will show you the different levels of a scuba diver, recreational and professional. Now, uh, once you become a dive master, you usually are then a professional diver at that point. Um, as well as uh, I'm going to be doing this through Patty. Uh, I am a Patty um, master scuba diver trainer. And um, I'm also, though, an SSI instructor. So uh, I'm not necessarily trying to, uh, you know, advertise one agency over another agency. Um, I'm, this video is more about just talking about the benefits of being a scuba diving instructor and then furthering your uh, education as a scuba instructor. So starting out with Dive Master as somebody who can lead people professionally, so you are allowed to be paid. Um, you might need to have liability insurance, but you would be qualified for it at that point. Um, a lot of the, the course is based around um, practical application of being a dive professional, so leading divers, leading discover scuba diving um, on their initial open water dives, um, simulating it maybe, um, mapping projects. There's a lot of different things that you do in the Dive Master course um, that help you gain knowledge as a dive professional, but in no part of it does it show you or teach you anything about actually teaching people how to scuba dive. You do become a certified assistant, so you can help out with a scuba instructor um, in the courses. Um, you can demonstrate some skills, but you do not have the authority to author or the, the authorization to certify anybody as a scuba diver. So I think a lot of dive masters come into the realization that when somebody says, oh, can you teach me to scuba dive? And you have to say no, it's probably best to become a scuba instructor at that point. So. After your dive master, then the next step is to become a scuba instructor. In the PADI system, the next one is called a open water scuba instructor. Uh, so this process is uh, a bit different. Um, this is what I will be actually sitting through uh, doing my staff instructor. Um, it's called the Instructor Development Course, or IDC. So the IDC is a two-week. Um, it's it's a, I'm not going to say intensive, but you do spend most of those two weeks either in the classroom or out on the boat or underwater doing presentations um, or doing knowledge development um, presentations. Um, there's a lot of different aspects to it. Um, a lot of stuff that I'll actually be talking about in next week's video um, when I have a bit more of a uh, uh, you know, recent encounter with the whole program. So you become a open water scuba instructor after you finished your IDC, the instructor development course. And then you also have to pass the instructor exams, the IE. After that, you will be considered an open water scuba instructor. An open water scuba instructor can teach all the way up to a dive master. Uh, so immediately you get access to a plethora of different um, dive certifications, um, which is then opens you up for more income, honestly, um, as a dive professional. After that, um, the open water scuba instructor is another level. It's called the master scuba diver trainer, and that's who I or what I am actually as of right now. Um, master scuba diver trainer is somebody who can teach at least five specialties, uh, who has taught 25 students. So you have 25 student count in your student count, um, and you uh, then basically become a master scuba diver trainer, and you can teach up to a master scuba diver. Now again, if you reference this 
chart of professionals and or recreational divers, the master scuba diver is the highest recreational level um, you could possibly attain in the paddy system of uh, scuba diving. So after the master scuba diver trainer uh, is what I will be doing is the next step is the staff instructor level. A staff instructor is somebody who can actually staff an IDC, who can uh, teach presentations from it, who can um, assist with the course. So uh, you're not necessarily allowed to actually be the person who certifies people as instructors, but you're allowed to be paid to help with the course um, and have indirect supervision from a course director. So I'll be starting that um, course tomorrow. So I will be kind of keeping you guys up to date how that's going. Um, to be able to do this, um, it's not actually very difficult. I have uh, quite a lot of experience as a scuba instructor. So I think a lot of the point of doing the staff instructor is to bring that experience to uh, the IDC to help the candidates get the best advantage they can get so that they're fully prepared to pass the IE. Um, so I do have some requirements. I will be meeting tomorrow to go over um, the things that I'll be needing to do as a staff instructor. Um, I can tell you off the top of my head, uh, I have to um, do what we call skill circuit again, um, which is uh, where you demonstrate the main um, skills that you would learn in the open water scuba course. Um, I need to um, score all of the candidates during the, the, the process and I have to score within a certain level of the course director uh, so that I can make sure that I'm appropriately evaluating the instructor candidates. Um, I will also need to pass one of the uh, uh, IDC exams as well, not one of them, but the IDC exams with an 80%. So uh, it's been nine years since I've taken the exam. That's maybe where I'm feeling the most rusty with, but um, I'm also seeing this as a scuba instructor tune-up course. I get to see the IDC uh, in depth again. Um, I get to refresh maybe some knowledge that hasn't really been in the front of my brain for a little while, uh, you might say. So it's definitely going to be a, a, an interesting experience for me. I'm looking forward to it uh, like a lot. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, um, but I think I've timed it perfectly to be able to uh, you know, leave Utila feeling like a very experienced instructor who, with a lot of knowledge behind me. Um, and so then besides uh, that, I might be missing something, but I have to actually just audit and sit through a, a IEC. So I will be sitting through the next two weeks um, doing um, presentations, but also being there to assist and help out in any way, shape or form, and also just to listen and be a student myself. So I'm really excited. Um, I'll be doing the uh, the course with uh, the uh, Bay Islands College of Diving, who I've been the staff photographer for for the last uh, three years. Um, I'm doing it with Dive Saga. Um, so um, if you're familiar with uh, Dive Saga, they're uh, the instructor development um, program that runs the uh, IDCs at the College of Diving. Um, the two course directors are Nick and Steven. Um, I'm very good friends with both of them. Um, this month I will be doing my IDC with Steven, uh, so I'm really excited. Uh, I've sat through a lot of his IDCs taking pictures, but I haven't actually you know, sat through them and actively been a student, so I'm really, really excited about this process. So next week I'll be uh, giving you guys an updated video where I'm halfway through the staff instructor course. Um, I'll probably have a lot more in-depth knowledge about what's going on in the course and what's going on in PADI in general. Um, and all the, the cool e-learning updates that have been going on. Uh, so uh, that is pretty much all I've got to say. I'll be back next week again with another one of these video posts. Uh, have a good one, y'all. Bye.